In 2014, F1 enters a new era. For the first time in the history of the sport, cars will be powered by both fuel and electrical energy. Produced by avant-garde power units. No longer just an engine, the power units combine turbocharged V6 internal combustion engines with powerful energy recovery systems. Two motor generator units, or MGUs, harvest energy from heat in the exhaust and recover mechanical energy during braking. The systems work in harmony, with cars balancing the two types of energy throughout the race. Both MGUs are coupled to the turbo engine and packaged within the chassis. Under acceleration, the internal combustion engine works at full speed, with the turbocharger rotating at close to 100,000 RPM. The MGUH, H for heat, works as a generator and recovers energy from the exhaust, which exits from one centrally located exit. This energy is passed either to the battery store, where it will be stored for use later in the lap, or to the MGUK, K for kinetic. The MGUK, which is connected to the crankshaft of the engine, acts as a motor and delivers additional power. When the driver brakes at the end of the straight, MGUK converts to a generator and recovers energy from the braking event. This energy will be stored in the battery for later use in the lab. After a hard braking event, engine speed drops and the rotational speed of the turbo also falls. To avoid turbo lag when the driver gets back on the power, the MGUH acts as a motor to keep the turbo turning at high speed. Such complex exchange of energy is controlled by electronic control systems with certain driver-operated modes to allow strategic flexibility and occasionally a boost of power when overtaken. Potent energy recovery systems and restrictions on fuel flow rates and quantity put in the power units are amongst the most energy efficient in the world. The Renault Energy F1, a new power unit for a new era.